Well, they went off without a hitch amid tight security and new high-tech tools. Police say there were no major incidents at last night's Ford fireworks. Sean Lay is live this evening, and Sean DVD says it really was a good night. An excellent night for safety for families and for DPD, and they're really pointing at today those detection devices that detect weapons. Now they work just like a um, screening device for metal detectors, but they read imprints on your body. Like here's something in my pocket. Well, this is my sunglass case. In many cases, they're looking for guns or knives. And last night, these detectors were really put to the test. A quiet night. Uh, community uh, was happy. Officers did a phenomenal job. Uh, covering their posts and their assignments, and uh, just a, a, a really a successful night. Detroit Police Chief James White describing fireworks downtown with thousands of people as a quiet night, meaning no juvenile arrests, no fights, no gun violence of any kind. Chief White highlighting the use of these new weapon detection devices. People pass through them like a metal detector and weapons, guns will be quickly identified. I think the weapons detection system performed well, uh, non-intrusive at all. Uh, the community, it was well received by the community. Uh, and, and frankly, um, a great tool. Public private events can request to make areas gun free zones and the detectors are put into use. No illegal guns were detected. People with permits carrying their gun for protection were encountered. You know, I grew up with the fireworks. This is this is an important event for many families in our city. Uh, so, you know, 99% of them are not going to have a problem coming to the fireworks and having a safe night with their families. Back here live, an extremely safe night for families downtown. Any big city that has a big event like this, you're going to have fights, you're going to have situations. And last night, no fights, only a few arrests for public intoxication. No illegal guns have picked up on those screeners. So the word got out, don't bring your weapons there. And if anybody in particular had a legal gun and encountered police at those checkpoints, they cooperated and did not take it into the weapon-free zone. Karen? Definitely some good news there to share tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sean.